on as we get going. Alright, so let's get started. I've got the black paint. You know, and I just realized, um, I said I was going to start with a black background, which I am going to do, but I also want to keep in mind that I'm going to be painting a large moon, so I'm going to be using this as my, um, this will be the stencil, basically, so this will be used as the moon, <laughs> used to trace the moon, I should say. So I'm just going to want to keep that shape, or the size of that shape in mind, so it'll probably be about here. That's just an estimate. I don't know if that'll actually work or not. So how's everyone doing this Thursday? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. Hey Chad, nice to see you. Hey DR, hey Salvador, and hey Gabriel. Hey Josh, nice to see you all. All right, hey guys. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with this black background. And then I've got a little reference photo here, so I'm also knowing that the I'm also seeing there's going to be a lake painted into this. There's going to be, besides the moon, there will be some clouds, some um, trees, and grass painted in here. Hey, Adam, nice to see you. And um, there will also be a little lake in front of all of that. So sometimes it's kind of good. <clears throat> it's kind of helpful to keep an entire painting in mind, even if there's only one part that's being worked on. And like so in that case I'm seeing that there's gonna be a black lake in the front, so I do probably want to go ahead and and of course it's not really gonna be black, it's just this is a black and white painting, so um the lake is going to be black with some reflections in it, so it won't really look like a black lake, but <laughs> I am going to go ahead and paint some of that in just to have a bit of background or a bit of color laid down ready to go for when, for when it is time to do that. Hey Bonnie, nice to see you. I love to have Bonnie watching. I can feel a loving presence. <laughs> really nice. Hey, Randy, nice to see you there. Keep going. So if you are just joining, this is a monochromatic or a black and white painting. Thank you. 
and I do also want to see how this stencil if you've been watching for me for a few minutes and you've already seen me talk about this stencil so the scarf is getting a little warm I might have to take it off okay um yeah so I'm using this as a stencil and it's about to fit so far yeah I'm gonna need a little bit of down there filled in so we want we definitely want the moon to look like it's on top of the night sky oh um let's see there's a question that says what am i painting on man this is a panel i have a collection it's a very large pile of art panels that i was able to purchase for a very low price hey chris hey myra nice to see you um, yeah, it was, there was a big warehouse in North Houston that had a ton of these art panels and they already have some photos and other things printed on them, but no one wanted them and so they, they sold them to me for a very nice price and so I've been using them as my canvas or as what I use to paint on. But yeah, so one of the, the biggest things I found out uh, from being a painter this is another one of the things I kind of had to learn on my own, as most painters do, have to learn a lot of things on your own. Um, like anything, anything that's on top of something in real life, like so say I'm looking out at this tree that's there behind the cameras, behind the tree is the blue sky. Um, so like if I were making a painting of that, I would paint the blue sky first, and I'd paint the tree on top of that. Um, Anyway, it's just, I feel like it's one of the things that's really helped helped me as a painter to know, like, okay, I'm always going to paint whatever is in the furthest, furthest back is going to be painted first. All right, so I'll just measure that a little bit more. And then I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit and go ahead and work on adding a bit more of the black color to... I'm going to add a bit of the black color to this foreground. And I know I was just talking about <laughs> always painting the background first and then I started painting the foreground, but um, that's because this foreground is going to have to be painted multiple times anyway, just because the color is not really as thick as it could be. It's a little bit thin, so I'm gonna go ahead and it's just kind of a first layer. And that's Pepper getting really excited about some neighbors walking by. Okay. Um, some water. And getting a little bit of white paint on the brush over. circle just serves as, hey Marianne, nice to see you. The circle serves as our stencil for what's going to become the moon. And I do still use this Tupperware lid, so I'm going to wipe it off. <laughs> and um, in the meantime, it's Thursday. It's May 14th. The year is 2020. The craziest year of our lives. I think we can all say that. I don't know. At least I can. Well, maybe. It's actually the second craziest year. My uh, 27th, no, sorry, 29th year was horrible. <laughs> I had never been in the hospital, and then all of a sudden I found myself suddenly in the hospital. But that was five years ago, and so it prepared me for 
feels like it prepared me for anything, <laughs> including this. It was like out of that moment I started painting. And painting is a, I don't know, it's something really great to be doing during this, <clears throat> during this time. Okay, what else, you guys? Let's do, how about a, I'll fill in a little bit, fill in a little bit on the moon here. Hey, Miss Sigurd. Hey, Dave. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so right now I'm just working on a black and white artwork. It has a moon on it. So, so far I've kind of painted the background, the, the night sky. And uh, next, on top of that, is, is this little moon shape. bit of bigger brush this one's not really doing the job. Also this brush has a little bit of black paint on it so I'm gonna use it for some textures. <laughs> and that's gonna probably end up being too dark. But I will go ahead and add some white paint on top. But like with anything, it just is going to require quite a few layers, so. I'll just keep, keep layering and that'll be, it'll eventually turn out how I want it to. not really worrying too much about the uh, bottom of the moon because that will probably get painted over a little bit. So, hey Mike, nice to see you. Yeah, so I'm just going to work on adding a few more textures here. Pretty good start. There may be some 
opportunity to go back. Hey, Miguel, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, there might be an opportunity to go back and kind of fix some textures later if we see anything we don't like, but for right now, we'll go with that. Hey, Shelby, nice to see you. <laughs> okay. um, I'm going to... Let me see, let me look at my reference photo, which today I have like between the two cameras. <laughs> so I think the next thing, so like I'm layering, so the sky was in the background, the moon's, the moon's on top of that, and then on top of that looks like there's some clouds. I'm going to go ahead and start in on doing a few. I do want to do the clouds, but I also have a horizon line, so I may want to just, <laughs> thank you for waving hi. Um, I just want to see what the horizon line where that's going to go first before I do anything else. So it will probably go right about right there. And that's just, that's just something I'm doing for my own personal, I don't know what you call it, just <laughs> sanity, I suppose. Um, all right, so if that's there, then the next thing, so I'm going to do these clouds, and what I have in my reference photo are like some rolling, these rolling sort of clouds. So those will probably go all up in here, and all up in here. So, let me go ahead and start. Hey, Jim, nice to see you. So with clouds, I like to always paint the darkest parts first. And that really is very dark right there. I'm going to go ahead and mix in some white because it really is just very, very dark. <clears throat> and again, I, I'm just um, kind of blocking things in. I'm not necessarily worrying too much right now about the exact look of the clouds because I can kind of go back later and decide how I want those to actually look. But right now I just want to get an idea of where they want to go. And again, I'm not going to worry too, too much about Let's see, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to worry too much about the horizon line because, again, that's going to get painted over. So I'm not being too exact with it. I'll start again on the other side with the dark paint. And already getting some textures going in there. Textures, um, and then I just white white paint added to make that paint just a little lighter, a lot lighter. And I might do a few just fun little brush strokes, which will then get this is getting tucked on. Um, oh, hey, Jerry, nice to see you there. All right, you guys, this is fun. Um, having some uh, fun with black and white paint today. So if you're just joining, the plan today is to do this night sky with a very large moon kind of in the center, and then there will be a silhouette painted on top of the moon. There's some clouds, there's a few little trees, and then there's a lake in front. So it's going to be quite the, quite the painting. <laughs> But it should go fairly quickly, so really fun. Because this one's already been, it's only been 20, 22 minutes on air, and this has already, all of this has already happened, so <laughs> it's amazing how quickly it, it can go. It amazes even me. 
I usually just kind of feel like I'm the one watching. I'm like, I'm just watching it come to life. I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> It's really nice, uh, nice to be painting live today. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to take the painting off the easel and put it up closer to the cameras so that y'all can kind of see what's going on texture wise and otherwise. Thanks for looking. I got paint all over me. <laughs> That's fine. It's the life of an artist. Uh, I've even got a towel. Okay. So next, what is next? We got the night sky, although that's not really done. We got the moon, may or may not be done. We got the clouds, yeah, those are looking good. Okay, now it looks like there's a bit of a, a little bit of a thicker horizon. Oh, Jim says nice job. Thank you so much, Jim. Uh, okay, so a little bit of a thick horizon, which kind of looks like it's almost grassy or like plains. There's some trees on this horizon line. I'm looking at my reference photos, I'm talking about that. <laughs> okay, so the brush. Oh, and there's also there's a figure sitting on this horizon. So. It's a little animal, and um, I've never pre-handed one of these, so I don't know how it's going to go. But if I mess it up on the live broadcast, I'll just go back and fix it later. Hey, Tessa, nice to see you. I'm going to look at my reference photos, and it, it might look like I'm kind of looking at you, but I'm not. I'm looking right in between the cameras. <laughs> get a smaller brush and fix it later. Tessa says this looks awesome. Thank you so much, Tessa. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, even if it's going, just going to go how it's going to go, I guess. <laughs> All right. And there's a little bit of a... 
<laughs> I noticed that its little mouth looks a bit more like a duck, so I might have to go back and fix that later. <laughs> My brush is a little large, but I'll try, I'll try just a little bit now. It's Yeah, that might be a project for off camera. Let me see, let me stand back and see how it looks <laughs> from behind the cameras. That's gonna have to do for now. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna go through and add just a little bit of texture that'll make it look like. Tessa says, "From the distance, from a distance, the silhouette looks spot on." <laughs> Thank you, Tessa. <laughs> I'm looking at a reference photo that's down here on the screen, <laughs> and I'm like, mm, "Looks okay." Oh, let's see. yeah, looks okay. Thank y'all so much. This was this is really encouraging. All right. Um, so the next thing is this little horizon line has some grassy kind of texture. So I'm going to go through and add that. Also some trees, and I really, I think for this, I really have to, I really have to go. Tessa says it's my interpretation of it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna have to go get the um, smaller brush because this brush is just way too large for these trees that I'm about to paint. Hey, Leo, nice to see you. Small brush. Okay. Alright, so these trees are just real simple shapes. They're just almost like little triangles stacked on top of each other. And it looks like they're kind of off in the distance, so we'll just do different little shapes of little almost tent type things. And some of them will be like this, and some will be like that. <laughs> so we'll have all different kinds of little shapes in here. Okay, there's, a, there's three trees that kind of, to me, they all look a little bit similar. Hey, Justin, nice to see you. Um, so these three kind of, yeah, they just, all these trees are like 
similar in height and similar in, I don't know, style. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if there's a different little style of tree that I can do. Branches are spaced out a bit more. <laughs> um, hey, Chris, nice to see you. Uh, I'm looking at my reference photo for a few more ideas on different shapes of trees. I mean, really, you can just kind of use your imagination in this um, or look at shapes of trees. I think that's what I did when I painted this first. So when I say reference photo, I'm really looking at, at a painting that I did a few years ago. <laughs> okay, so. And I think when I painted that, I went and looked up, like, did a Google search for, like, tree shapes or something, or tree silhouettes, and then used that as my, as my idea there. So yeah, it's Thursday, and the stream has been live now for 35 minutes. It's uh, May 14th, by the way. Very exciting to know what day it is, I think. <laughs> At least for me it is. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions. I know I'm kind of just going through these trees, like not really saying much as I'm doing it. Just kind of trying to get different shapes, different sizes, get a variety trying to make it look like an actual forest. <clears throat> I might just do a few of the tall and skinny kind of tree. I don't really have any of those yet. Thank you. 
That's kind of fun. All right. Okay. So, so now we've got night sky, the moon on top, and there's some clouds on top of that. Um, there's a silhouette in front of the moon. <laughs> we've got trees. And now we're going to add a lake. And then the lake, hey Bobby, nice to see you. The lake will also have a reflection of the silhouette. So <clears throat> I'm just saying this out loud because it's going to help me remember what I need to paint so I don't have to constantly look back at the reference photo. And the lake, so the lake has a reflection of the moon and the silhouette. So it's going to be kind of dynamic. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I think it's going to be fun. So that's nice. But hey, Carrie, nice to see you. Yeah, so this, the lake reflection so far is nice, but um, I'm missing some of the black paint that's going to make up the water. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in now. So now we're left with a little bit of a, just a tiny reflection still in there. Um, so I want to go back and probably paint, paint that back in. Okay, so this reflection, yes, it's supposed to look, kind of be in the same shape as the moon. I got distracted and I felt like I needed to fix some clouds, so pardon me while I'm fixing clouds in there. <laughs> probably need to go back and fix that as well, but <laughs> for now. Okay. So, okay, so back to the reflection in the water. The only thing is, I get a little annoyed when my brush makes it. I can see them from far away, but Hey Dave, thank you so much. Um, Dave says, very cool. <clears throat> the only thing is the brush leaves these little, I don't know what these are. They're just like little places where the brush has stopped as I'm doing that swishing motion back and forth. So I'm not really sure exactly what the cure is. I've been painting for four and a half years and I still haven't found out what to do about that. I guess the answer might just be to try to go a little bit more slowly, more gently over the over those areas. 
Sometimes I just start swishing so quickly that I don't notice that my brush is making those little start and stop areas. Yeah, and I'm liking it, but it doesn't really feel balanced yet, so I'm going to keep going. I've got a lot of white on the brush, so I might want to just add, just add a tiny bit of black to that, just so it doesn't go on super thick. And then because the moon is, I don't know if y'all can see me, but if the, because the moon is round, I want the reflection to be slightly, slightly kind of round, so. Not sure what that's going to look like yet, but we will find out. I mean, either way, it's a moon reflecting in the water, and it's super awesome. <laughs> and I'm totally amazed that I'm able to paint this. My friend Sylvia Blanco, she's a painter in Houston. She kind of uh, showed me this technique of painting water. As I was saying earlier, I'm going to try to do the silhouette reflection as well. So I'm going to be, take the black paint again, a little bit of the black paint, and just kind of do, a, do that side to side motion. Again, I'm looking at the, um, at the reference photo, which I think is always a good thing to do when making art. Hey Josh, nice to see you. Now I'm just going through and fixing the, um, the night sky has a little bit of, I don't know, it's just like the, the paint is not really thick enough, so I'm going through and just adding a bit more paint to kind of have that second layer. Like here, where I got a little white paint that I don't need, I'm going to that. Okay. That is the best thing about being a painter, is that anything that uh, is not working can just be painted back over. <laughs> I love being a painter. Almost done. It's a And then I added a little bit of a shadow on this cloud right here. Hey, Philip. Nice to see you. And um, I didn't really intend for it to be that dark, so again, I'm going to go through and just very, very lightly add some, uh, some of the white paint and make it a little bit lighter. 
I'm gonna get some of this black paint off the brush first. I like that a little better. Let me kind of stand back and see how it looks on camera. Hey, Alan, nice to see you. Um, yeah, that's just, it's still just a tiny bit dark, so I'm going to try just gradually lightening it up. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to do too, too much. But I do want it to be a little bit lighter. stand back behind the cameras for about five seconds. Hey, we don't nice to see you. No, I'm going to stand back behind the cameras and I'm just going to look at what the artwork looks like from the point of view that y'all are seeing it at. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a little late to say this now, but I wish the moon was about, I don't know, I don't know in numbers, but I just, I'm thinking like maybe 25, 30% bigger. <laughs> oh well, I worked with what I had today. <laughs> maybe next time I can work on getting a little bigger of a stencil. Um, I do know I want to paint some stars still, so that's missing. Do I want the moon to be a little lighter? I think, you know, I think if the moon was a little lighter, just having that contrast, like right now, the moon and the clouds are kind of that same gray tone. And I'm just thinking maybe if the moon was a little bit lighter, it might help it stand out a bit and might be a little prettier. So let me see if there's a little bit of paint surgery that I can perform on that moon. <laughs> and what that's going to look like is just a little bit of white paint on the brush. And... I mean, I definitely like that that lighter color, adding the more white paint. Hey, Mandala, nice to see you today. Uh, yeah, so adding a little bit, a little bit of that white paint. Oh, I see you guys adding hearts on Facebook. Thank you very much. It's nice. Okay, so let's 
what we have. So if I like a little white, will I like more white? I don't know. Let me stand back and look. Looking in one camera here. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more white, but I'm doing this very gradually because I've already done a lot and I don't want to don't want to kind of overwork it or do too much. Some white paint on the brush and see how it looks. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying having, having this moon stand out. Uh, it's kind of blending in with the clouds, so kind of nice. All right, now I want to go back and fix the little mouth on the little dog. The little wolf. Just a tiny bit of black paint. Now for a really fun part, which <clears throat> which is putting in the, the stars in the night sky. So I am going to need my smaller brush for that because oh, Bonnie's here and she's as beautiful. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Yeah. So the smaller brush, the bristles are not quite so soft and So when the bristles are a little better for the flicking motion. And so I'm going to there's a little bit of white paint in the brush, and then I'll need just a drop of water. So this is just um, adding some little uh, specks of stars. kind of nice to have stars um, a little bit more heavy in certain areas just to kind of have a place where the eye can have kind of something to focus on if that makes sense yeah it's nice to kind of get to give that give the viewer's eye some place to go like something to hold on to just a little bit it's like it's almost like it gives their eye a place to rest and then they can go back they can go through and explore the rest later but kind of is that is that part that will pull them in and so with that said i'm going to add a few of the larger stars
I'm out here battling mosquitoes. They weren't, they were not bothering me until about 10 minutes ago, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm just adding a, a little bit of some stars and things like that. <clears throat> Bonnie says, this is like a meditation. I feel so relaxed. Thank you, Bonnie. And Frank says, hello from Tommy and I. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Okay. And it looks like I got cut off, cut off on Instagram, which is fine. <laughs> Just won't be, uh, won't be broadcast there. But it's recorded here on Facebook and on YouTube, so that's good. All right, so one thing, one of the last things I am seeing is Like just a little bit of extra white texture right here in this area just to differentiate it a bit from the clouds. And Frank says, looks like full moon, full moon full of love song from Katie Ray. Oh, so nice. Thank you so much, Frank. <laughs> I love that. Very romantic. All right, so I will step back behind the camera now that there's only one camera going. <laughs> um, I'm going to step back and look at it from, from that angle and um, see what it looks like.
Okay, I think what I'm seeing is I like to just do a little bit on the wolf silhouette. I want to just smooth it out a little tiny bit. I don't want it to be too too smooth because wolves are hairy. <laughs> Furry. I guess they're hairy if they're a wolf werewolf. <laughs> Hey, Josh. Instagram cuts me off after an hour, so thanks for finding me here. Keep looking at it and seeing. The only thing left to do is to sign sign this painting. So let me find my smaller brush for that. And I'll probably sign it with sort of a grayish kind of color. Just mixing that up a little here. sponsored by this by this soda company. Okay. Okay, okay. Looks like the painting is signed now. So it is a signature that goes fast. It goes quickly because there's just like the right amount of paint on the brush. Some days the signature goes slowly because there's not the right amount of paint on the brush. <laughs> Alright, so it's time to take the painting off of the easel and show it up close so that everyone can see all the textures. really close. I'm going to step back just a little and do a little bit of side to side. Okay, did you guys get a good look? Let me know. Um, and this has been, this has been a painting completed in one hour. One hour and seven minutes. So that was really quick. <clears throat> I'm not like trying to go fast or anything, it's just, I don't know, paintings are a lot easier when they go more quickly. It gets the old conscious mind out of the way. And 
Bonnie says, I know someone I would like to share this with. Will it start over if I share at this point? Um, I don't think it will start over, but I am going to end in about two minutes or less. One minute. So if that sounds good, I think you can share it with her then uh, whenever it ends and it will start over. All right, so I really enjoyed being here with y'all. This has been a really fun day. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful Thursday. A wonderful May 14th, 2020. <laughs> um, as always, please feel free with any questions, if there's any comments, any feedback. Um, just feel free to send a message, anything like that. I'll be happy to answer. Happy to talk about the paint. Happy to talk about art, about being an artist. Anything related to that, please feel free. So have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.